Hello, everyone. It is Nathan Graham, and welcome to What is Real Estate podcast. It's like a reboot, episode number one, all over again. And I want to introduce my co host, Dion. And so I think since this is a reboot, let's just uh, talk a little bit about ourselves for a really quick introduction, how long we've been in it and what okay. we enjoy about it. And then uh, I'll say mine and then we'll get back onto the topic. Okay. All right. That sounds good. So you want me to go first? Yeah. So who are you, Dion? <laughs> I am, I'm Dion. I'm Dion Allen. I'm actually, um, I've been real estate for, well, since 2012. So 12 years this year. I am, I, I am a team leader of Red Shoe Homes Real Estate Group. And um, yeah, I mean, do you want to know anything else personally no, or no, just no. about real estate? That, that works. I think we're going to be diving okay. in and really get to All know right. as we, we go on through many episodes. So uh, my name is Nathan Graham. I've been in real estate for 14 years. Uh, this is kind of what my passion is. I, I think both Dion and I are, are in the, the top producer category, like top 1% of the areas that we're in and usually in the top 5 10% of our office. Um, so again, I've been doing this for 14 years and uh, really I wanted to, uh, with Dion, to create a podcast where... There's you can go pretty much anywhere for podcasts, and we wanted to create one that actually helped with just the basic information, right? So kind of like how we started in the career, those basic questions and answers that you're looking for, right? And so today we started with what's your big why? Uh, so I uh, just yeah, I like but like really quickly, um, big why is where we all start. So Dion, why why do you do this? Why do you sell? Yeah, I, I think I think it might be good to even say what is a big why because. All right. A lot of a lot of people getting into the industry or and not even just our industry, maybe they don't understand what a big why is. So it'd be interesting to hear our take, both of us, what we think a big why in general means. Um, so, I, I mean, I think the sum of it is, is why we do what we do to get to that big why, that why we're doing it like. For example, I'm I'm in real estate because of this in order to achieve this or mm -hmm. to make this happen. Um, and, and and it's hard to figure that out sometimes. So what is your take on on what a big why is? Yeah, no, I completely agree. When I when I look at a big why, it's what is the main driver behind what I do? Why do I get get out of bed? Why do I make calls when I don't want to make calls? Why do I do the things that I don't want to do for a larger success? And right. it, in all honesty, I, I struggled with this concept for for years, um, largely because I felt I felt like my big why, the one that I always put forward, was very in inauthentic, um, and and I didn't find that this was actually a very simple question as, as it sounds. Like as an example, uh, what what's your big why now, Dion? Like if you were to give a, an explanation of why you do what you love, what why do you get out of bed? Well, at the, at the end of the day, there's, it's always about your family and providing for your family. And for me, though, it's providing the fun, the excitement, the adventure. But also now it's it has shifted with being in for a, a long time now. Like, but my, my big why is also like about making people happy and educating them, and, and whether it's their clients or, or other realtors. And that really makes me feel... Like my heart sings when I can when I can make somebody else a difference. I guess it is in in somebody else's life. Um, of course, uh, you know I think your family and financial um, freedom is always going to be a big why, or or financial stability mm -hmm. or whichever whatever way you want to look at it. But for me, I think there's a lot of a lot of whys that turn into this, the whole big picture. So how about yourself? Well, actually, so before I jump into mine, I'm curious, has your, your big why from the very beginning when you got into real estate, yeah. has that shifted? Like, do you remember day one, the authentic big why looking back? Well, number one, I didn't want to be a stay at home mom anymore. <laughs> <laughs> They're awesome. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I don't know. I have it on do not disturb. I apologize. Oh, um, I don't hear anything, just so you know, on our side. So, oh, that's good. Okay. Well, I apologize. It did ring and I lost the screen there. So, I apologize okay. for the delay. Okay. So, yeah, number one is I was a mom of four children staying home. I had a career prior. And then when I stayed home with the kids, I still kind of worked part time um, mm -hmm. because I love people. I love chatting with everybody. You know that about me. I love, uh, I talked to everybody in the elevator, right? <laughs> you know, like I just, I really do. And then 
So for me, in the beginning, it was, I wanted to be a contributor to my family and I wanted to get out there and do something that I loved. And I had a passion for at that time was houses and, and design and, and generally just helping people. And um, of course, with that big why came, if I did well, maybe I could take my kids to Disney. Nice. Yeah. Right. Like, <laughs> Love it. did you ever end up taking them to Disney? I did in 2013. It was my, nice. it was like, it was such a bonus. I actually did a dream board and that was one of the things on it. And I, it was the best thing ever when we surprised them with it and mm -hmm. we took them in 2013. So a year after being in real estate. Awesome. Yeah, no, it's funny. Like, It's interesting how the big why shifts. Like my big why right now is vastly different than when I first got into it, right? So when I first got into real estate, and this is what I mean where I felt like it was very inauthentic, is people would ask you like, what's your big why? And I would kind of rehearse the answers that I think everybody wanted to hear, right? And right. Um, if, if your big why is this answer, it, it, I don't want to take away from it by any means. It's just this was inauthentic to me. And so I would often say things like, oh, I want freedom. Oh, I want I want my family. Like we talk about family. Oh, I want my big why is my family. That's my big driver. And I, I, I didn't have kids for the first 10 years of my, my career, right? So like mm -hmm. that, that's a big driver and all the rest. And the reason why it was inauthentic is because that, that really, I don't want to sound bad to my family, but that really isn't what woke me up in the morning. Um, when I first got in the industry, I, I look back now and I had a bit of a chip on my shoulder from how I grew up, right? And, and honestly, my biggest driver, and it was so freeing to admit this, was to be somebody, was to make it somewhere. I just, I was here and I did not want to be here anymore. <laughs> And now I want to be there. And I don't know what that looks like. Right. Sorry, we have uh, commotions coming in in my house too. That's I, I mean, right. you you did say that it, it had to be authentic. So uh, I still live with my four kids and now two dogs. And it seems people are coming in the door. I thought this was a quiet, peaceful place to be today, but apparently it's not. <laughs> Is it ever really when we're doing these from our homes? <laughs> like literally have a dog sitting here right now, nosing me like, can you please pet me? So, so, so if you start getting yeah. your bottom of your feet licked, then you're laughing. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so like, it is interesting because you, I think, I think we're, ex you or you're right. Like we're expected to say it's about the money or it's about like, well, yeah, of course it is. And, and, and we're expected mm -hmm. to know what a big why is. And I, Honestly, for me, in the very beginning, it was to just celebrate and, and provide for my kids along with when I got a taste of what it really felt like to help people find their first home or sell their home. That's when a, a, a shift made a big difference. Like, or like I shifted already what my big why was. And that became a big why was I wanted to create uh, like a, a, a standard that people felt like they would want to work with me again. Mm -hmm. And be so happy they did and then I wanted to like grow a team that we could service people at a higher level like that became the big why like it does it's never just about the one thing like we I did, said earlier I feel like you're just constantly shifting mm -hmm. yes on my dream board I had I wanted a pool we got a pool I had um it was I wanted a nice a, pool I enjoy that pool. And it is a nice pool. Yeah. I'm selling that right now, actually. No, you need a new one in your new place. <laughs> I need a new one in my new place. Um, but I have um, like, or the kitchen reno or, you know, just being able to do all those things. Those were great for my big wives to, or taking my family on a trip to um, Europe for a month. Like mm -hmm. those were my early days, big wise. And then as I was doing those big wise, I was building something that made me feel really good. I had a, a coach ask me once that, uh, what is my passion uh, for for real estate? What 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 drives me? Because I was feeling in the slump. Because you kind of get there once in a while, right? I'm I'm sure you have as well. Felt oh, yeah. like you're just in a slump, right? Start going to said, LinkedIn you, jobs and seeing what else is out there, right? Yeah. And he's like, "Well, what are you passionate about? Like, why do you do real estate?" And I'm like, "I don't do real estate. I happen to be in the people pleasing business, and I happen to sell them mm -hmm. houses. That's what it like. And I love the smile at the end of the day." Or, you know, when, the, when, even in the sad times, maybe they're going through a divorce or, or maybe they lost a loved one or whichever, but being there on a level of connection, I'm a love and connection girl. And mm -hmm. that makes my heart feel so good. And I get up, I get up daily. Like right now I'm working with somebody 
um, down doing condos in Toronto. And every time I see her, she's like, I'm so happy. And, you know, and, and that just really, I can't explain. I remember the coach saying it can't be because of that. It can't be your big why. And I'm like, yes, it is. <laughs> well, you know, it, it, you brought something up that really came to mind. And so for anybody listening, uh, both Dion and I, uh, we grew up in a culture talking about big whys. And, and I think in a lot of offices, you don't actually have these conversations about what drives you. So we have also had a lot of time to think about these responses. And uh, mm -hmm. I don't, just so you know, if you're wondering about what your big why is, don't, you may not go in depth the first time. This is an ever evolving thing because I, like Dion, something you're hitting on about the shifting every day is yes, my big why might not shift yet. What it's hitting in your life isn't shifting, right? So um, we like you. We've talked about uh, in the past the four human needs: the the need for certainty, the need for adventure, the need for um, uh, significance, and the need for loving connection. And and I would be imagine like I think back to my big why. My big why and um, my big why was hitting that need for significance. Like as as a as a male in this world, um, growing up in this world. I needed to feel significant. And so mm -hmm. when I go into a housing sale and people come back and say, good job, it, it makes me feel significant. When, when you talk about like divorce case and the unhappy things, but yet you were able to manage the nuances of that, that deal so well, for me, that is what, what was feeding me. And, and even as my big why uh, shifted and evolved, because uh, the mindset I had growing up was a very limited mindset with a lot of limiting beliefs. I kind of, it was years ago, I surpassed what my teachers and my parents had for expectations for me. So a big why became about curiosity. I just realized I broke through a ceiling that I never thought I'd break through in life. So how, how high is this ceiling? Let's go, right? Let's right. figure it out. And right. yet, that still take, take back to my, my, my desire for significance. And then what you're, as you're speaking and knowing you very well, it's like every big why seems to be hitting that loving connection and really all these different aspects. That is the part of your life that's being fulfilled. Would yes. You, is that accurate? I actually just got chills because you said that. <laughs> I'm wearing long sleeve shirts or I would show you. I literally, and it's so true. Like that is, we all have our, our needs that, um, you know, that need to be fulfilled. And I am that, that is, that is me in a whole love and connection is, I mean, I do love variety and adventure as well. And that's probably, mm -hmm. but with that, that love and connection allow, like that's me bringing my family on a trip to go on yes. the adventure or, or just my husband and I exploring um, different areas of the world, right? Like that gives us that sense of that. But, but again, while I'm there, what am I doing? I'm having love and connection with those people, right? So it is, for me, it's definitely that level of service being able to provide mm -hmm. to people to feel good about it and, and makes me makes me feel great. And, and you know, and, and, and there's some significance there as well. Like, it's nice to know that you're doing a good job. Like, for sure. I mean, I, I still wanna be patted on the back a little bit, just like you do. And, um, you know, or, or told that I did a good job as well. <laughs> You know, but to me, the most important thing is that you feel like we did a good job because mm -hmm. you were happy in the end, right? Like that's what it is. And I think so. For those who don't know the four connections that we're talking about, we will eventually hold a podcast with a life. Oh, I think we should. Yeah, like now that we're talking about, it, like, this is like pretty, maybe I like think it's such a good it. topic. I think it's such a good topic because people don't <laughs> understand, and and I think you can relate yeah. when when you realize that, especially if you're even dealing with a client. Or even your spouse, you can be like, oh, they need to be significant right now. Like, I get what I'm doing. Yeah. I don't want to be right right now, oh, right? I don't so want to give my wife a great idea. connection, but she needs just those cuddles on the couch for the time being. Uh, yeah, that's usually me, by the way. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, no, I think we should do definitely do one of those. So, yeah. um, so w right now, is there a big why? Like, would you say there's anything that maybe not a big why, but well, I guess it is. But something that you're you want to achieve right now that is getting you to get up in the morning mm -hmm. and go like, is there something specific that you have? Yeah, I, I really want to go back to that, that curiosity that I was talking go, about. I want to get right. up today and I'm going to get this done so I can do X up my, this is my why. Perfect. My Sorry, mini why. I lost connection with you there for a quick second. Oh. Um, I don't know whose end that was, but it doesn't matter. We're good. I see you back now. Yeah, no, um, for me, it, it really tails back into what I was talking about that, that point of curiosity. Right. Mm -hmm. So when 
I, I, I don't know how to articulate this yet. So just bear with me as I'm trying to find mm -hmm. the words. I'm going to articulate this poorly and then maybe in a future episodes, I can articulate it better. Yep. Or maybe somebody when, can give you an advice on it. Like listen maybe. to what you're saying. <laughs> yet when, <laughs> when, when you have a mindset shift that if somebody else has done it, you can do it. You just don't know how they did it. That's all you need to learn then that really opens up that ceiling of potential, right? And it just depends on how high you want to believe uh, you can go within that ceiling of that limiting break. So I hope that part made sense because I lived in a life. Uh, so again, growing up, a lot of the, the rhetoric around my household was get a union job, make 50 to 80,000 a year, get a pension, get benefits. And that's, that means you made it in life, right? So the first year I made six figures, it was just mind blowing to me about accomplishing something that I never thought I would accomplish. Prior to real estate, I'd ever only ever made 30,000 a year in any income, right? Me too. And yeah. Oh, so sorry. I, I did. I, sorry, I did make it to 40, but that oh, was like. Oh, well, never mind. Me, then you're, you're rich took, at 40K. It took me a while. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> so the, the, the mindset shift. When, when you start breaking through this is, is limiting beliefs is now it's really a drive of curiosity. And by the way, when you actually start um, achieving these, and I talk about my core significance, this is what makes me feel significant is the curiosity in life. And by the way, significance and uncertainty for me go hand in hand. The curiosity in life about how far I can push something or what can we accomplish creates a boatload of excitement and a boatload of significance. And that is one thing that gets me up every morning. It, it's like the better way to put it is the drive to not be mediocre. Uh -huh. Right. That that's my, that's my primary driver. And so if, if I woke up one day and someone came up to me and said, you know, Nathan, I'd love to follow you. I'd love to listen to your podcast, but it's just mediocre. Right. Or, yeah. On my tombstone, it said, uh, Nathan, father of one, loving husband, mediocre life. I, oh. I would just be crushed with mediocre. And yet it's funny because a whole a lot of the world says mediocre is okay. Like, and it's not. If, if you, I'm not saying getting 80,000 a year working a job is bad. That is perfectly fine as long as you're excelling into your dreams and trying to raise the roof on what your expectations are. To me, it's not about where you're at in life. It's about are you raising the bar of where you are at in life, right? Does that right. Like the differential there? So that's my major driver of why I get up in the morning and why I want to see big results because right. I never thought that I'd ever have anybody listening to me online on a podcast when I was 22. Right. right? So like this whole new thing is just I like, I even know what a podcast was, was when I was 22. So <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have them. Don't you worry. You know, them. The internet's just yeah, a fad. Yeah, just uh, one of those like, tune in radios, right? Like that's what we had. I didn't even, <laughs> we had yeah. CDs in our car still actually. And, <laughs> and we, didn't have, I, we didn't have podcasts. <laughs> what's a CD? I remember uh, having cassette players. Do you remember the cassette player that plugged into your CD player? It plugged um, into yeah. your CD player. Yes. All All right, so now that we just lost on your Walkman. There was now no that we just lost 70% no of our audience, not knowing what we're talking about. <laughs> Um, well, you're so way younger than me. You will keep bringing people in because it's you. But yeah, no, I mean, like, I, I never thought that I would be doing something like this either. And actually, you know, like, I was super nervous mm -hmm. about doing something like this. So, I mean, I think that, uh, well, for me right now, I love the way that you say the curiosity. Um, I still, my big why is still very similar. Um, and as I did just age myself, I obviously am striving <laughs> for, um, like, I, what, what am I going to do in the next 10 years? You know, mm -hmm. like, what is my big why in 10 years? Do I want to be selling real estate or like, where do I want to go with, with this? I would love to see this as a legacy that the Red Shoe Homes team has um, built up and built out and, and, and just striving and still keeping up to the standards of what I originally set out for myself when I started before growing a team that we are still, Oh, I think I lost you. There we are. Oh, are you I'm, there? I'm still here. I can see you the whole time. You're good. Okay. Um, so, you know, like being able, I, I really feel like within the next 10 years, the possibilities are like, where, 
where do I see myself? I see myself traveling, but checking in with the business, like being, mm -hmm. I think we call it in, in real estate seventh level or something like that, where, yeah. you know, we like I step out and our business operates itself operates on its own. Yeah. So, so my big why is to create that all while still holding true to the standards of, of client care and, and making people happy. Like mm -hmm. I don't ever want to lose sight of, that care and concern and and that love and connection, whether it's me doing it or somebody on the team doing it, whichever. So for sure, I think that I think that I've had a, a I, I know that I've had a switch that that's what my next and I'm excited about it. Like <laughs> I haven't been fired up in a long time. I feel like I I feel like it's time. It's time for for this to happen. And I agree. not that I want to get older. Like let's be real. Like that's not. <laughs> Older. But I Getting older is just another adventure. That's what I think about. It's just what a another grand adventure. adventure it'll be. Who, who who cares, right? But I'm I'm actually fired up and excited about it, and I'm I'm fired mm -hmm. up and excited for you too, Nathan. Like I really I do feel that you're you're right now hitting a lot of the big whys that we've shared over the years. Mm -hmm. Like like you're such a, a a like someone who likes to pour into people and help them learn in in real estate. Like you're always you're always there for an open like to have open conversations. You're great at coaching. Like there's so many wonderful things that, you know, and I, and I, I love watching you succeed. That's the other thing. Like I love, I love that sort of stuff. It, it's a good thing. Humility is my third best trait next to completely good looking and extremely awesome. Otherwise all that might go to my head. So, uh, so I, I have to, I have to share something because this is, I have to share something with you because yeah. I have very small inner ear things and I've got earbuds oh, in yeah. okay. and one just fell out of my ear. Because oh. it doesn't fit. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so actually, my big why is to get smaller ears. earbuds that oh. or, or bigger ears or something. Oh, bigger ears. They're yeah. always falling out of my head. So I don't even know where I'm going to take okay. one second. Can I take one second? Yeah, take, take one second because. Why and, don't you talk about something while I oh. go do that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk while you're looking. Um, Because I, I think, and I think you can still hear me. I, I think what one of the things that you're describing, like the quote that comes to mind is we often overestimate what we can do in one year and underestimate what we can do in five. Right. right. And, and it is crazy because I see a lot of newer agents get in the industry and they're like, yeah, I'm going to make 200 or 500 or a million dollars in their first year of real estate. Yet their five year plan isn't built out for, for the big part. And I think a little bit that's what you're talking about is we're talking about, like, how do we look at our five and our 10 year plan? Let's dream big and look at this. One thing I want to rewind to, though, as we have about five minutes ish before we, we wrap it up is I just. As, as you as the public are out there thinking about what your big why is, I, I just want to encourage you to go really deep, right? And I'll give you an mm -hmm. example. If if your big why, it's okay if your big why is a, a convertible Corvette or your family or whatever case may be. Yet one, one caution I want to give is if it's not a big enough big why, you're not going to see the results. So I, I'm very cautionary on who I say this to, but it, it shocks me when someone's like, my big why is my family. And then I don't see them get up for an education class. And I can't help but think, man, you must not love your family very much if that's what's driving you <laughs> and the response to that drive. Um, what, what that tells me is that the big why is actually deeper than what you're going. And if you leave your big why on the surface like that, as in cars and trips and um, mm -hmm. family or whatever case may be, it's going to be very hard to keep that as a motivator. Yet when mm -hmm. you dig deep, kind of the way that we're talking about, and you admit I want to say you admit hard truths like for for um, most people in today's society to say that I need to feel significant is actually looked down upon in most things like, oh, what, you need people to compliment you all the time? I'm like, yes, I do. That's the way I operate. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, it's looked down. But when I get raw and honest about it, that's what drives me. And that is what actually started my drive. So if you're mm -hmm. looking at your family or the vacations or whatever that is or dollars or, in the bank or whatever why, right? ask yourself why do you want this and i'll give you a quick story as an example i was teaching this conversation of the three deep questions and, and three deep questions you can ask yourself and you can ask other people it just helps you get to the truth and the first one is what what they think they think and the second one is what they think they want to hear for an answer and the third one is what the truth is so i asked someone in a in front of a class and i was like why did you get into real estate and she was like money I want to travel. I want nice cars. I want a big house. And I'm like, cool. Why do you want all those things? What does that do for you? Right. She's like, it gives me freedom, right? If I can travel and come home to my beautiful place and all the rest, I have freedom now in my life. 
And I'm like, okay, why is freedom so important to you? She goes, because I never want to take another damn cent from my husband ever again. And I was like, okay, that got real deep real quick. I that really did. Clear. That's, uh, yeah. But I mean, that, that is that's, a now that's a drive. Yeah. That, that like, would, that's definitely something that would drive her. Yeah. A new car is not a drive. A new house is not a drive. Yet wanting being financial to, freedom from your partner, that is the core drive. Being able to all afford these something on your own that you don't have to ask permission to get or, or yeah, I mean, that would be, that's a very, that's really good. I like that going three, three levels deep. I think, mm -hmm. I, I think that's, um, and I, it doesn't always have to be about like, it doesn't have to be a negative or a positive. It could be, it could be something even in your past that, you know, I wanted to, I really just want to prove that I, I, I am better than maybe you had some people not so nice to you in your past that you, it could be that emotionally deep that you're like, I just want to show people I can do this at the end of the day, I'm going to feel significant because of it. Yeah. And I'm going to right like that sort of thing. 100%. So very, very cool. I like the three deep. That's a, I think, I think that everybody should, you should actually write that down, Nathan, like maybe like even have something where you can write it down so people can really think about it. Because mm -hmm. And it's hard when you ask people right on the spot too, right? So. Oh, hundred like, mm -hmm. percent. So just quickly, like my final thought, and then we'll, Dion, we'll get to your final thought as just to wrap this up here. So my, my final thought on this, just quickly to everybody listening is I used to stress out about my big why. And then I used to kind of say the things and kind of make things up that I thought were the right answers. And uh, I really wish I had the freedom now that I uh, back then that I have now. Your big why is never set in stone. And if you start to get serious and raw about it, it becomes a massive driver in your life to keep yourself on track and build these successful habits to live a large life. And you're going to sometimes fail at your big why and sometimes mm -hmm. you're going to exceed your big why. And it's not your big why is not a metric of success, right? It is. No. It just is. That's all it is. It just is, right? The metric of success is the metric you want to put forward. If you make your big why your metric of success, there's a good chance you'll feel like you're failing every single day. Yet, if you make your metric that I'm working towards, I got one step closer to my big why. I got one step closer to fulfilling this. I did fulfill this, and yet not in ways I thought. If that's your metric of success, you'll just keep sailing along, feeling great about yourself. So that's my final thought on this. Dion? Um, I, I I agree with you 100%. And I, I guess like if you're sitting around and you're watching those people that are doing things at a, a level like you're just blown away by, you can pretty much guarantee those people have something that drives them towards that big why all the time. So, you know, I, I would recommend sitting down if you don't understand what that what your big why is, is sitting down with somebody and talking, talking it through, just like mm -hmm. we're doing right here, right? Or going that three level deep. Because in order to be successful, you have to have something that you want to, to get you there as well, right? Like you at the end, of, there's got to be an end game of why do I want this? What, what is what is what is the reason I am doing all of this? So, you know, I think that having open conversations and really trying to figure out what drives you. And like I said, like you said, like, just you don't have to do it all at once. <laughs> Just knock it off a little bits at a time. I, I, I think the big why is, is is a really good thing to learn for sure. Awesome. All right. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you, Dion, Thanks for joining for having me. me. That's so <laughs> great. I love this. Okay. I'm not so shy anymore. I can do really? it. Again. Um, so please, uh, for anybody, uh, we'll say this at the end, maybe one point we'll say at the beginning, but if, if you like this, we're going to be releasing this weekly and we're going to be talking about everything from uh, things that we talked about today, like goal setting. And we will be talking about real estate building businesses, how to operate open houses, uh, how to uh, become more influential in the world. We're going to be talk covering uh, a variety of conversations. So please like and subscribe to this, whether it's on YouTube, Spotify, Apple, wherever it's going to be everywhere. Um, follow us on social media. I don't have it prepped today because I buy, but I think what we'll do, Dion, if you're cool, I will create a QR code for the very end yeah. um, that people can scan and then you can follow us on social media. So we'll have all that ready to go for our next episode. Anyways, and people can reach out if they want any questions, if they've got any questions too. For sure. Look up Dion Allen at Red Shoe Homes. If you Google her, she's all over the place. If you look up Nathan Graham, I am not a boxer. I am a realtor. So like Nathan Graham realtor or that house guy or that house group. And that's how you'll find me. All right. Awesome. Well, thanks, Dion. All right. Thank Have you. Thanks so much. I look forward to the next one. All right. Chat soon. Okay.